Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to a new music class with Miguel. So today we're going to learn our song and this is going to be a video explaining how the chord chart should be read. Okay, you're going to also find another video uh, tutorial exactly on how to play the song from beginning to end. And that's it. Okay, so first let me just explain how this thing will go. As you know, this chord chart will have every section of the song specifically from the beginning to the end with everything that it has okay so as you can see we have the intro right here okay you have chords D B minor A G and G again now B minor can be a little bit difficult because it has like this dreaded bar it's gonna be like this okay if you follow here the chord diagram for this song now there are also other ways you can play it for example, you can do it instead of doing the bar with your finger one, just play the fifth string and then leave everything uh, like the first string open like this. Now, it's not the ideal thing, but I can accept it. If you can do this, even better. Okay. The other one is do this, but that's going to be difficult because you have to play with your right hand from the fourth string up. Because if you play the fifth string, it's not gonna sound the same, okay? So this is it's easier to put here, but more difficult to play because you have to be very, very accurate and play from the fourth string, okay? Your choice. Then we have the verse one, okay? Oh, in the first, uh, in the intro, notice that first we have two bars in four, four, okay? So it's every bar, every chord is gonna be two strums, except for this G, well, it's going to be too strong, but it's going to be a 2-4. Okay, so let me just count it. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1. Again, two strums. 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2. And then verse. So be very careful with this 2-4 uh, bar. Then we have the verse. Again, the same thing we're going to do just in quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Then we have F sharp minor. Now, F sharp minor, it says right there that it's like this. There are ways you can do this, okay? This is like the most ideal thing. The other one is do like an A, but you simply put finger one on the sixth string, second fret. Another way is do this, which you put finger one, third string, second fret, finger three, fifth string, fourth fret, and finger four on the fourth string, fourth fret. So the first two bars, which this, with this one, will sound like this. pre-chorus okay pre-chorus is F sharp minor B minor you can do this F sharp minor then G then you have A sus4 okay this is like this this A but you're move, you're moving the pinky one fret up there okay so it's two strums on A sus4 and then A so it's gonna be If you don't want to do the, the A like this, you can do it like this. And the same thing, maybe you can do it with the third finger or you can do it with the pinky. Okay, but I want to be, be able to hear this, that movement, okay? Then you go to the chorus, okay? The only new chord right here is gonna be the A minor seven, which is, if you know A minor, you simply take out finger three 
It should sound like this. Okay? And then here, after A minor 7, you play this D, okay, for two beats, only one, and then you do F major 7 G. F major 7 is exactly as you see right here. And then G. So that, uh, let me play the entire chorus to see how that rhythm is going to go. Okay? Three and. Notice that the verse here has different chords. Why? Because verse 1 is in the key of D major, verse 2 is in the key of C major. It changes keys throughout the song. So you have the verse right here, C, E minor, F major, 7, C, G, chords that you, sh you know already. C, A minor, E minor, F major, C, and G. After verse 2, we have the pre-chorus. Again, this pre-chorus is going to be in a different key. So we have E minor, A minor, E minor, A minor, F major 7, and then G. But then when we go to the chorus, we go back to the key of D. And we go into the same B minor, and then the same A minor. And then repeat that again. D, B minor. A minor 7, and then we go to the guitar solo, okay, which is D, 3, 4, B minor, 1, 2, 3, 4, G, 1, 2, B minor, 3, 4, B minor, 1, 2, A, 4, 1, 2, and then pre chorus, okay, notice that here again we have a 2, 4 bar right here, okay. And then we go to the pre-chorus, the same pre-chorus we did before for the first verse. And then we do the chorus again, but this time the chorus is going to be played four times. After you play the chorus four times, you end with a D chord, only one strum. So let me just play the, the last chorus the last time, like the fourth time to go to the final D. It will be like this. Okay? Now, don't forget that after this you have to watch the play-along video in which you are going to be learning everything. Now, <clears throat> from beginning to end, you're going to be listening to the song from beginning to end with the guitar. Now, the guitar solo. Um, only one of you will do it, but the one that does it the best We'll do, we'll do it in the final video, okay? So, and if you can do it, I will count it as extra credit, okay? Now, in the, uh, in the, in the video that you're gonna see with the play along, it's gonna be explained how to play the guitar solo. So be sure to learn it. And if it's too difficult for you, it's okay. But if it's not too difficult, which I don't think it is, just with practice, I think you can do it. If you can, do it and then I will consider it ex as extra credit. In the final video only one of you is going to play it so let's see who can get it better. Okay? Now, uh, when you record your task you're going to record the entire song from beginning to end. Okay? How are you gonna do it? You're gonna take out the the video, the play along video, okay? And you're going to play against that okay so when I hear your video when I see your video task I want to be able to see you playing the guitar I want to hear your guitar being played and I want to hear that video in the background so I can see that you are playing on the beat following the beat okay now how are you going to record the video you're going to record the video in a way that I can see you playing the guitar both with your face and with your hands okay so in the video I want to see this okay even better like that okay it's not okay 
if I just see your face, and it's not okay if I just see your guitar, okay? I have to be able to see both things. And put the camera at eye level, okay? Not from the bottom, not from up, eye level, so I can see exactly uh, uh, everything, okay, in a better, in a better way. Um, if you have any problems, if you have any questions, any doubts, don't forget to email me. If you need an extra help session, we can and we should because uh, it can be a lot of things like to consider for one song and it's okay if you have problems. That's perfectly okay. I'll be gladly uh, helping you whenever you need it. Um, I think that's it and uh, practice a lot, record your video task and I will see you next class. Bye-bye.